Hello there, everyone. My name is Ayumu Kagami, and as promised, uh, we did a, a straw poll on this, and you guys wanted to see me play Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, I know a little bit about this game, and, and I this is not a for the faint of heart type of game. Uh, I know that much. So, let's get into it. As far as I've gotten is I entered my name. <laughs> Seen an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious of any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, that kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waiting on her. But... If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again! I like your bow. It's very pretty. But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's so mean, Ayumu. Well, people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have to be mean. <laughs> I guess you don't have- I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hee <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Ayuma, have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I, to uh, I told you already, I'm, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. Uh, I'm in the going home club. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Did I? I'm sure it's possible I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry he likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh! A man after my own heart. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Oh, I could watch anime in college. Psh, I'll just be a Twitch streamer or YouTube. Right? Right? Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise to try a, you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! I don't let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. More than that, I'm surprised that I let myself relent, relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little, at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day... Uh, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I knew it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need uh, to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is a vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had an interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, 
I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd be bringing in a new member. Oh, no. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell Sayuri. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly followed Sayuri across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being genuinely used for a third year class classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, a new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I like her purple hair, and I like the hair clip. Sayori always says nice things about you. Uh. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Uh, Ayumu, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. I'm not gonna get these voices right. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, she's the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her while she gets moody. Sayori says, uh, says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparable, uh, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori, Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know... Monica. Monica? Monica. Monica. Is that right? That's that's right. It's great to see you again, Ayumu. Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in, in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come on, sit down, Ayumu. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I, I made those. I'll get them. Sorry. Wait. Sorry, I got a little excited. Let me know if you want me to like keep doing the voices. Uh, this, I'm going to post this one before recording anymore. That way it won't go on for too long. Um, cause I, I really would like to know, do you guys want me to keep doing the voices? Do you want me to like have set voices? Please let me know. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Minika and, and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Oh, uh, okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like aw, to look like cute little cats. The whiskers are drawn in icing and little pieces of chocolate are used to make the ears. It's so cute. I had no idea uh, I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So you grabs one first, then Monique and I follow. It's delicious! Sorry, talks with her mouth full. Oh, <laughs> just to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. 
This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Have I heard this somewhere before? I made them for you or anything. Well, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. Not for you, no. You, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dism dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of uh, each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, uh, I guess. <laughs> don't, uh, don't let your guard... What voice that I have for her? God dang it! I'm gonna have to give more distinct voices. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I'm. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. But I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monika raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So. Uh, I need a, I, I don't have, I only have like two female voices. Uh, so what, uh, so what made you consider our literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monika that I was practically dragged here by Sorry. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make you feel right at home here. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monika, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader in the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monika really is a great leader! Gary nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monika must have worked really hard to uh, find these three. Just to find these three. Maybe that's why we were all so diligent, uh, delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Ayumu, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga... I quietly mutter to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Or Yudi? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep, complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. 
Isn't it amazing how writers can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I read a horror book once. It was It by Stephen King. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I, would, I wouldn't have expected that of Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Sh uh, surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh? Why's that? Well, uh, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to read about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? 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 What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind. Last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called. D d don't say it out loud. And give it back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes and your poems. <laughs> Everything you do is cute as you are. <laughs> Sorry, I slid up by Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? <laughs> no! <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. I'm not a very confident writer yet. I, under uh, <clears throat> I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Cool. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Monica! Let's all go home and write a poem for our own work. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh, yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Ayumu? Monika smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back in the original topic we joined the club, I bluntly come out with what's been on my mind the entire time. Yeah, I never said I was going to join the club. So I may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, they all have different colored eyes. Nice. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. B but, I'm sorry, I, I thought... Huh. Hi, you, Moo! You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? This... That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. <laughs> okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Yes! I'm so happy! So your wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did s uh... You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monika looks over at me once and more. Ayumu, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monika with my mediocre writing skills? 
I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Ayumu, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, sir, and I never walk home together anymore, because you always stayed after for the club. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. That's probably a good place to stop. I don't want to go too far in case uh, you guys don't like the voices and you'd like me to just read it. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments down below. Um, this might come out one day and then I might wait just uh, one extra day um, just to, to get some feedback on it. Um, I would very much like to know, uh, do you like me doing the voices? Uh, and um, if you want me to like try to uh, stick with a voice for a character, I'm, I'll, I'll do my very best to do that. So leave me some feedback down below and thank you very much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate if you enjoy this series, make sure to hit that like button and share it around. It helps out a lot, especially when a series is in its infancy. Thank you very much, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.